It's Friday. Yes! It's Friday! Uh. Finally! Another good Friday, except for the part where I'm still not caught up in my Brit Lit reading. <sighs> Laura, uh, Liv, myself, and my friend Dustin went to the Arnott Mall in Elmira. Didn't get lost this time. When we got to the Arnott Mall, I was very disappointed to discover that there's no bookstore there. Why would you have a mall without a bookstore? That's the whole reason that I go to malls, is because they have wildly convenient bookstores there. Malls are weird. However, a local library, local in Elmira. The library in Mansfield is like the size of a shoebox. We have a library in Mansfield? <laughs> There's a library! Really? Yes! <laughs> Point proven. <laughs> there you go! She's lived here her whole life. She didn't even know that they had a library. Hey, hey. I'm from Wellsboro, which is about 15 minutes that way. Oh my god, I'm sorry! <laughs> anyway, a library in Elmira was having a sale of their old books they didn't want anymore, so. They had a lot of used books for sale. Highest price, $3. I died. <laughs> and went straight to Nirvana. Let's see. <sighs> These are all of the books that I bought. Here we go. A Streetcar Named Desire. Utopia. I haven't read this one yet and I'm kind of ashamed of it. <sighs> the whole, you walk in and the smell of old books just hits you. I have a nicer copy of this that I got from Barnes & Noble. It kind of projects the idea of the book on the book. I feel like the state of this book really captures the essence of the picture of Dorian Gray. I wonder if since I own this now, as it gets more decrepit, I will become lovelier. That's a good deal, I might like that. He's a looker. The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. I know absolutely nothing about this, I am ashamed to say, but I've heard about it, I've heard a lot about it, and it's one of those books like you just you hear the title and you think, I'm supposed to be reading that, aren't I? I'm educated and cultured. I should know this. The Complete Works of William Shakespeare, Volume 1 and 2. <laughs> I am a happy ginger. This one I just got because I loved the look of it and I loved the, the pages are all like uneven and yellowing and... They're actually browning now. <laughs> and it just sounded so distinguished, and I'm like, yeah I, yeah, I can use that. French fireside poetry. Mallory's Le Mort d'Arthur. It doesn't have a cover, but it's okay. Yeah, it should be a good read. Who doesn't love a good Arthurian tale? Selected poetry and prose of William Blake. Secretly, this one, I have no idea why I recognize the title or anything about it, but I just remembered that I recognized it, so I bought it. And I'll read it, and then I will feel so cool. King's Blood Royal by Sinclair Lewis. And then there's this, The Hound of Baskervilles. I just... Oh, there was an episode of Wishbone, and it was one of my favorite episodes when I was a kid, where he read this book, and he he was Sherlock Holmes, and he had the hat and the pipe and everything. I was just like, you're a dog. And after that, we went to this other store that was really cool, because there's woodworking and stone crafting shenanigans happening in there, and they sell the products. This is Sherlock. Isn't he cute? That's freaking cool! He's roughly puppy-sized. Just saying. I technically own a puppy-sized elephant. Sherlock, you have anything you want to say? Don't forget to be awesome! See you on Monday. What? You really just did that. Really. Get out!